All right, hey guys, welcome back to uh, Infinity Outdoors. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're, I love the live bait fish, especially for big catfish um, with live bluegill, uh, live shad, things of that nature. And it's really hard to find a store bought float, bobber, whatever you want to call them. Um, but, um, for big live floats, when I say big, I mean, you know, half pound bluegills, 10 inch bluegills, things like that. There are some out there specifically that you can buy that are good. You know, Chris Flores has uh, his catfish bobber. Um, there's a couple other out there. I actually started selling some, but decided to stop selling them. They're just too easy to make. So what I wanted to do today is make a video um, of how I make my floats uh, for live bait. Uh, I've got two different versions. I actually got about three or four that I make, but I'm gonna show you two today. Um, you can see some behind me here in the video, the red and the green. So the first step, we're gonna cut our pull noodle, we're gonna cut our PVC, we're gonna get a hole drilled in one of our end caps, and basically just get everything ready to assemble. So we'll show you that step by step, and then get it assembled. All right, so we're gonna measure our PVC out, and we're making two inch floats. So what we're going to do is the PVC pipe, the float itself is two inches, so the PVC pipe needs to be about three and a half, three and a quarter inch to account for the space of our caps. So get that measured out. Just a little over three and a half inches. I use PVC ratchet cutters because I have them because I use PVC a lot um, for fishing stuff, Halloween decorations and so forth. A good clean straight cut. You can use hacksaw, whatever you want to use. So we got that cut to size. Now we need to cut our pool noodle. And on the pool noodle, this isn't your normal uh, box store pool noodle. It has uh, the end. If you can see the foam, this is a high density closed cell foam. It does not hold water and absorb water. So we're going to do two inches on these measured out two inches and to cut this one you can use anything you want me I use an old flay knife that's dull um, just so I can get the one all in one straight sweep so there's our pull noodle two inches and our two end caps one of the end caps we're gonna have to drill a hole and I'm gonna show you why here so the only other pieces we need are right here. So you have your foam, your PVC pipe, your end caps, a brass swivel, and an eye screw. Because again, this, this one is float is used with a sinker slide. So take a pair of needle nose pliers, bend open that eye, put your swivel on, close the eye back, set up here so what we need to do is put a hole in the end for our screw and go in the, the about center as you can get on it and the drill bit here is a uh, 364 inch drill bit small hole because we want the screw to actually screw into the end cap so because I don't use glue on any pieces because the friction of the PVC will hold it together. The screw is actually screwing into the PVC. So, right here. So it's a symbol. So we have our pieces. That's all it is. Put it tap on. And I tap the cap back down. And the reason you don't need glue, you're not going to pull it off. You can twist it, and it'll allow you to change the foam out later if you need to. There's your bobber. There's your bobber. And this one will do to a sinker slide with your swivel. The bobber floats. For, to use it not use your glow stick you're just gonna you're in you're gonna make sure to put it on the end that doesn't have the swivel the swivel is what goes under the water this will be floating 
So you're going to just shove it down into the foam, bend it over, shove it into the other side. It does not tear the foam up, it stays in there for multiple use, and you're good. So that's the first bobber I'm going to show you. This one is, like I said, used with a uh, sinker slide. And if my camera person will pan back, I'll show you. Here. So it hooks to the sinker slide. So. Okay, guys, we finished up, showed you the sinker slide model of our big float. Now we're going to make one that I use that is a traditional slip type float. No swivel, no eye. You can use it like a normal just crappie fishing slip float type thing. So processes are the same with the exception of the end caps. Um, so we'll show you how to do the end cap and the, inner, and the tube for the inside to feed your line through. Alright, so let's get our pipe measured out. And a half. Cut just real quick. Boom. Let's get our pull needle cut. And all this is the same for making both floats. Same for cutting the noodle and the pipe. That's the same. What's different is the end caps. We're not going to be using the swivel and the eye bolt. Instead, we've got some aquarium tubing. You buy any box store that sells aquarium stuff. Um, what we're going to do is drill two holes, one in each end cap with this. Um, the size of the hole on this, I believe, is a uh, 5 16, uh, 3 16th uh, inch drill bit. It's just a little bit smaller than the tubing. Fill the holes in the end caps. It already had a smaller hole pre drilled just to make it easier. So we're going to put one end through. So we got end cap in. Let's put it on. We'll put our foam piece on here. Okay. And then put it up there. Put a little bit of super glue. Just so it'll hold it once it dries. There we go. And then you just clean up, flush. All right. And there's your slip float. All right, so that's the basis of it. I mean, it's pretty easy, pretty quick. Uh, it takes a couple minutes each to make one uh, with truthfully materials that are easily had if you don't already have extras. Um, but this is the, the slip, like an old school slip float. You can see both ends of it. And this is the ones for a sinker slide. I like to use these because um, I actually don't like to have to retie things if I don't if I want to change over to you know a bottom rig or something I can just pull this off and be good to go with the sinker slide so but that's pretty easy guys it's like I said if you like to use live bait uh, or big cut bait uh, it'll hold and like I said it's the using the materials that I use the high density pull noodles and everything the weight like i said for a two inch one is 2.1 ounces it'll float up to eight ounces of weight um you can, i make them all the way up to six inches i don't need anything bigger than that but a six inch float weighs 3.2 ounces and will float over two pounds of bait i have tested these i actually tested them so um and you can get 
like I said, you can make, I've priced it out looking at it and everything for, to make a two, two inch one with the materials that I buy, your state's prices will be different, but I can, each one of these floats cost me around $2.14 for a two inch one. Six inch ones cost me under $3, $2.96. Um, so you can make a lot of floats, don't have to pay shipping, handling, any of that, and you can do it yourself, which, you know, that's the way our grandparents did, you know. Grandma, uh, grandpa, mom, dad, whoever taught you how to fish and everything, they made a lot of their own gear. That's just the way it is being outdoors. So I hope this uh, helps for you. I hope it turns out to be a decent video here. Um, but I hope it, like you know, make your own, enjoy it. There's nothing like float fit fishing for live fish, especially big catfish. Watching a big catfish take this thing float around with it's it's cool. It adds a new dimension to the fishing world for you. So, and again, you know, enjoy, good luck to you, and we'll see you on the next video.